Kenny Smith is here before, uh, uh, from TNT, which is the exclusive home of the Eastern Conference Finals. And who do you think you will see when that's all said? Wow. In you the know, Eastern Conference Finals. Because Chicago and, and, and um, Cleveland on a collision course in the semifinals, mm -hmm. you know, those are to me are the two best teams. From top to bottom, nobody gives the Hawks a chance, huh? But this okay. is this is where the, this is where the window opens because they have to go against each other. So the window is open. Mm -hmm. You don't have to beat both of them. Right. I don't think they could have beat them both, but they could beat one of them. Mm -hmm. And um, and and this is this this is a great opportunity for them uh, having that. Um, but to play both in a playoff series in a semi and a final, I don't think they would have won. But now this is their golden opportunity. To get to the NBA Finals. And so, who does, though? Does, do the Cavs come out of the East, do you think? If the Cavs come out, it'll be a first, man. Like, first time ever that that would happen. A mm. first-year coach when your best, two, best, two of your best three players, Kevin uh, Love and Kyrie Irving, never been in a playoff. They're first. Mm. First time you're all together. And then the only consistent thing is, is talent and LeBron. That's never happened. I, I'm, I can't remember that happened. When you say... You know, when, you, when Boston brought those three guys together, but they were three experienced guys, three guys who have been in playoff runs. Doc Rivers had been in playoff runs. This would be a first of first. Mm -hmm. And I don't think you can win basketball. I don't think you can win it all like that. Two-time two NBA champion Kenny Smith here on the Rich Eisen Show. So when it's all said and done, do the Warriors make it out of the West against... They're the favorite. Okay. They are the favorite. But to me, this is the first year where you, you know, usually you go, oh, when I was growing up, Celtics... Lakers. Mm -hmm. Then the era of, you know, it's the Rockets, it's the Bulls, then it's the Rockets, then it's then the Laker Rock, the Laker rivalry came back when Shaq and all. So I'm like, now it's like seven or eight teams if they want it. Like, all right, if the yeah. Rockets won, you wouldn't be surprised. You would just go, okay, uh -huh. I could see that. Right. You know, if Dallas came back and said, got to the finals, you go, mm -hmm. all right. Right. Like, it, this is the first year that's ever happened, I don't think, in the history of basketball, where there's seven contenders. But it's also been a year that we haven't seen a year like this in quite some time, right? With the number of 40, 50-point games that we've seen dropped by so many players and so many games that we've seen, yeah. certainly on TNT, yeah. that have come down to the final. A lot of great individuals. It has been. Uh, but the best player yeah. on the best team yes. in the best league has been Steph Curry. So he is my MVP. I would agree with you. Because he's done it from start to finish. Mm -hmm. And I always say you have to look at that first. Best player, best team, best league. Right. Look at that first. And if he's having a great season, mm -hmm. he's got to get the award. Now, if he's not, that guy's just having a good season. If he was, you know, he's averaging 18 points and he's the best player on the best team. In the best, all right, now we go to the secondary guy, which might be Harden. But this guy has been spectacular all year, has not disappointed, uh, has... He has electrified us without dunking the basketball. Right. How many guys have done that? That's exactly. But he has electrified us just seeing the video of him practicing, making 77 straight frees. I don't think he threes. did that. You don't. You think don't that what? That. What? Now, what do you mean? You think they put that out saying that he really did this and he did not really do? I that? don't think he hit 77. Threes. Sort of like Dennis Quaid didn't really rant at people on his movie set. That yeah. was a funnier dive. I, listen. Hoax. Uh huh. I've I've seen the best shooters in the history of the game. Yes, you have. 77 NBA threes. Mm -hmm. Didn't happen? Didn't happen. So what are they, so what is this, this is all a hoax? This is sort of like a, a Blair Witch Project sort of thing? NBA threes <laughs> did not happen. There's no way it happened. Fantastic. Calling it a fraud, I like it. Kenny Smith here on the Rich Eisen Show. So do you go to Atlanta now, basically for a month and a half? Do you come 40 back? 40 games, 40 nights, man. Right. 40 games, 40 nights. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, we talked about, uh, I have that reality, that's reality TV. Right. 40 games and 40 so nights. So did the cameras for your reality show come with you? We're to, done. We're done taping, done. actually. Okay, you're so done. So we're done taping. All right. Uh, airs Friday on TBS, Friday nights at 8, uh, 9 o'clock uh, East Coast time. And uh, we're done taping. It's been a lot of fun, though. It was actually fun because I, I have five mm -hmm. kids, mm -hmm. ages 2 to 21. Oh, my Lord. So I'm changing diapers and picking colleges all in the same year. <laughs> you know, it's like it's the craziest thing ever. Right. My, my wife is a Price is Right model. Um, 
I'm I'm over there. She's not the right. one that accidentally gave away a car. No, she a she. Ago, okay? I, I, hey, listen, I, my cousin wasn't on, so no, okay. she didn't give away the car. <laughs> <laughs> we 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 would we would have planned that. Okay. We would have planned that, but right. no, she wasn't. She didn't give away the car, but uh, she know I know her who did, and my my wife knows her well. Okay. But um, the 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 one thing that it that I always try to do on our show is basically when you show shows, is home is a foundation, mm -hmm. and I call it more of a unscripted comedy than a reality show, because it's, if you want to laugh, this is what you look at. Yeah, uh, meet, meet the Smiths and on TNT, uh, or TBS, pardon me, Friday night uh, at uh, 9 Eastern time. We have a phone call for Kenny? What do you got? Yeah, no, Daniel no. in Wisconsin, uh, right. he's a Bucks right. fan, that's okay. a question cool. for you. There you go, Daniel, you're on with Kenny the Jet Smith on the Rich Eisen Show. Hi, my name is Daniel. Um, I just had a question here. Now, the Bucks. I, I went to one Bucks game this year because it's so expensive to go to the games when you're kind of low on money, but um, I went to one with my, my wife. I got married in February. I took her to a Bucks game, and she loved it. All right. Um, the Bucks did really good that game, and I see now they've got a lot of young talent. So my question is, with all the young talent they got, um, is it possible the Bucks could do an upset on the, on the uh, Bulls? What do you think? What no. I don't think an upset. I think this is just great groundwork for Jason Kidd uh, to get to the next level next year. Uh, Jabari Parker comes back. Uh, you get another great, uh, you know, get mid first round draft pick, you know, mid to late. Um, I, I think this is just great groundwork, and this is what he wanted. Just taste the playoffs, understand the level of competition and play, come back the next year. And be ready, but I don't think they can beat the Bulls. What'd you, what'd you make of Derek Fisher's comments when asked if the Knicks can be like the Bucks next year and go from the number of wins that they had this year? To the what did he say? He said that they could win 63 games next year if they wanted to. That's what Derek Fisher said. If they well, is if Le they wanted to. If LeBron James coming to New York, that we I don't, don't know about. So. I don't believe uh, <laughs> Superman is coming. No. It's Kevin Durant, and 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 it's gonna and it's coming, and along with. You sound LeBron, like Patino. They're not walking through that. They're door. not walking through that door, man. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't see Willis Reed walking through that door. So, are you a Jet or a a, a, a Giant? Being from Queens, you got to be a Jet fan because you, you're from Queens. I, or I'm what? the most unique New Yorker in this regard. Okay. I was a Met Yankee fan, both. What? And a Jet Giant fan. Well, the Mets and the Yankees don't play in the same league. I, know, I never but... understood why you couldn't be both. I lived right. in Queens, mm -hmm. I, so I lived like 10 minutes, away, not even. Yeah, the Shadow of Shea. Right? Shadow of Shea, Shea Stadium. Okay. But I used to play at Riverside Church, okay. AAU team, which, okay. is, which is in Harlem, mm -hmm. which is throwing distance through Yankee Stadium. Sure. So all of my friends on my team were Yankee fans, and then everybody in my school were Met fans. So I was both. I you was were like. Both. I was a, I was both. I was strictly New York. If it said New York on it, yeah, I was it. Because the jet, you could tell from people again of of the generation that you and I hail from. I was from less the area. Giants when they moved to Jersey. Well, because and then because the Jets were the the Jets and Mets used to play in the same stadium, which right. is crazy that I need to remind people yeah. of that, right? Because yeah. people like us, for we you, know, like we remember, it, that was that was enormous. That, that was enormous. But right. for me, I was like because I traveled so much, and then I went to North Carolina. I was like anything that said New York, I had to represent. Right. And so I'm even like, today, still? Even today. I'm, okay. So you both you both root for I'm, both I'm the Jets and the Giants during I, football it's season. New, I, I root for the Knicks and the Nets now. Brooklyn Nets. Yeah. That's strange, That's too. That's strange thing. I mean, I remember when Dr. J was playing see, on Long Island. But I but I see, I, I, I always associated the Nets with New York right. because of Dr. J. Right, me too. Because he was our favorite player growing up. Right. So he was, you know, the Nets were right Nassau Coliseum. Okay. So I was like, all right. So I was always a, I always associated the Nets with New York, even though when they moved to Jersey. Yeah, that it, never it, made, the Brendan Byrne yeah, Arena yeah, yeah, where they were yeah, playing. No. no, that never made sense no, to me no. either. Uh, so before you go, do you want to ask the poll question of, of Kenny okay. Smith before What's we that? go here at richeisenshow.com? So Giselle retired, announced her retirement from running Runway. Yeah, okay. And so we want to know who's the next superstar athlete to retire. Kobe, okay. Tim Duncan, Tom Brady, Peyton Manning. Oh, that's easy. What do you think? Tim Duncan. Is this, is this it? Is this his final ride? This yeah, Tim Duncan retires before those two guys. Because Peyton Manning... Peyton's got maybe one more year left in yeah, him. But I, I think he's got another year. But I, I think all, overall, it depends on their season. Because if they don't do well, he's going to be like, I got to give it one more. But if they win it, he's not going to go out. No one goes out winning the Super Bowl. What's Kobe's end game? Write it for me right now. Kobe, Kobe, how does he finish his career? Here in L.A.? For sure. Know, he, he, he retires here in L.A. Okay. Injured. That's the only way he's walking off that floor. 
is because he can't physically, he can't physically do it physically anymore? anymore? Because when he's physically able to go, he's still a 20-point scorer. But he looks physically sick seeing what's going on out there. Kenny, Listen. I mean, it, 21 wins in this town for yeah, but the Lakers. Wins, they do he, not, he wasn't a part of a lot of them. You don't the even, I know, right. So, he, but, so physically, he has to be like, I can't go anywhere. Swaggy P says he's going to take the rim on a date over the in the offseason because that the rim wasn't kind to him this year I mean well, no you, it you, just you, makes none of it you don't need to take sense. it on a date you need to take it on several dates because that means you need to be in the gym shooting <laughs> so if you need to be there you need to take it to dinner you need to buy a house with it mm -hmm. you need to marry it mm -hmm. if you're not shooting well the only thing that makes you shoot better mm -hmm. is being in the gym and shooting 77 in a row, Steph Curry. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Which you said did not happen. No, that did not happen. Thanks for coming in today. Man, thanks for having me. This was me, a man. blast. Please come yeah, back no anytime. Question. Come back anytime, and Thank we'll you. chat with you throughout the uh, the NBA playoffs. Say hi to Shaq and Chaz. Yeah, man. Chaz. And Ernie. And Charles, yeah. Uh, here on the Rich Eisen Show, Kenny Smith is thanks, here. Guys. The Odd Couple tonight. Tonight. He and I will be on it with Felix and Oscar on CBS at 8.30 p.m. Eastern time. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern. On audience.